Hi there! In this video I'm going to install ROS2 on a Steam Deck. Why are we installing ROS2 on a Steam Deck? Well, it turns out that this is an amazing form factor for teleoperating robots, both driving it with a joystick as well as visualizing the output from the screen. Now a Steam Deck is a game console that is produced by Valve, and as of June 2022, it is a little backordered. So I'm actually borrowing this unit in order to test it out. Uh, I have to return it shortly. Anyway, that is what a Steam Deck is. Installing ROS on it is actually going to be kind of interesting. It does run Linux under the covers, but it actually doesn't use the distribution of Linux that ROS normally targets. So we're actually going to be using a, another project called RoboStack. RoboStack is an open source project that distributes ROS via the Conda Package Manager. It was originally started and maintained by Tobias, Wolf, and Silvio, as well as numerous other contributors. Some things I really like about it is that it does work on any platform, specifically any distribution of Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. It allows side-by-side -side installs by isolating the environments between them, it doesn't require root access or on Windows administrative access. This means that you can use it on lockdown systems and it creates reproducible environments. Basically, it isolates those environments. You know, ROS can be fairly insensitive to that environment and this helps mitigate that. So let's talk about configuring the Steam Deck and installing RoboStack. In order to access the Linux side of the Steam Deck, I'm going to be connecting a USB bridge that goes from USB to USB-C. I'm also going to be using a external keyboard, in this case, a portable keyboard. I really like these things. You'll notice that I, in order to capture the output, I am also using an HDMI capture card that will go over USB-C. So let's go ahead and get that started. I've installed a remote adapter so that I can capture the output of the Steam Deck. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually reboot the Steam Deck into Linux mode. In order to do that, I'm going to press the Steam button, select Power, and switch to Desktop. Once we're in Desktop, I'm going to open up the console, K console which is under the system menu and select K console. Let's go ahead and zoom that in so you can see what's going on. Now, if you're doing this for the first time, you need to set the password on your root, on your deck user. So pay a S S W D. Okay. Now, if you don't have a password already, this will ha just ask you for a new password. Uh, if you have a current password, you don't have to do anything. So I'm just going to bail out of that. Now, what we need to do now is we need to disable Steam OS read-only mode. The Steam operating system is deployed in a read-only mode in order to prevent corruption if should it lose power, but we need to be able to write to it. So we're going to be disabling this safety net. If you're not comfortable doing this, you might want to stop right now. Um, otherwise, there are ways of recovering it in the future. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to use sudo, S-U-D-O, which says super user do this operation, and then type steamos dash read only disable. Okay. If you, uh, at this point, you're going to type the password for the deck user. And it is already read right because I've done this in the past, but this will uh, do it for you. Now, the next thing we want to do is we actually want to run the Robos, the MiniForge install. To do that, I'm actually, I'm going to open up the browser and navigate to RoboStack. In this case, we're opening Firefox. I'm going to robostack.github.io, and we're going to follow the instructions here. So let's go ahead and zoom this in. Okay. 
There we go. So select the getting started. Actually, before that, we're going to look at available packages. This is a list of all of the packages that are actually as part of the RoboStack distribution. Now, if we look at Foxy, which is the previous long-term support version, you see that there's a lot of red X's here, including on the desktop. We're actually going to install Galactic for now uh, and check in for Humble later. If you go to the Galactic release, you can see that there are a lot more green checks, including on the desktop, which includes Arviz. So let's go ahead and install that. On the Getting Started page, we want to install Mamba Forge. So I'm going to click on that and scroll down to the Linux distro. Installing from various different operating systems, Windows, OS, Linux. For Linux-like platforms, we're going to go ahead and do this one. So select, copy that and switch back to our console. So first we're going to download a shell script and run it. Now go through your license agreement and type yes. Okay, I've previously installed this, so it's not going to happen for me, but for you, it will go through a process of downloading it and running it. Uh, and then it's best to actually shut down your console and restart it. Now, once we have that installed, we're gonna go through the process of configuring and activating an environment. So first, we want to create an environment. I'm just going to select this one, and we are going to create the ROS environment with Python 3.9. Awesome. Now we want to activate that environment. This allows us to have multiple environments installed and switch between them. So for example, if you have Galactic and Noetic or Galactic and Foxy. Come on keyboard. Okay, so now the environment is active, but we actually haven't installed anything yet. So what we want to do is select the RoboStack, and we're going to extend the install these. And also the RoboStack and RoboStack experimental channels. Now what this is doing is it's in, uh, informing the Conda distribution of where to actually fetch packages. So we, when we install ROS, it knows where to actually find that. So we are going to install the ROS Galactic Desktop. Installs pretty quick, doesn't it? Now, if you do want to build an environment, there are some other things that you can install. Catkin tools, if you're doing Catkin work. Uh, Colcon, if you need to install Colcon and Mint. Uh, if you're working on Windows, you'll you'll want to install some Windows tools. Uh, and you can also install raw step if you want. Now, at this point, do we actually have ROS?
We have ROS. There you go. You've installed ROS on a Steam Deck. Prove it to me. ROS 2 launch. Or, oh, actually, we can just launch, rush, run RViz 2. This is Arviz. Pretty cool, huh? Now, we've got access to those awesome joysticks. Do you think that works? Not at the moment. We're going to have to fix the bug here. What actually happens is... crashes because of haptic not being initialized. This should probably shouldn't be a fatal error in the joystick, but I think there's a mismatch on SDL. So stay tuned and we'll see if we can get that fixed. Well, thank you very much for watching. Next step, I want to figure out what's going on with that joystick crash. It's not very good uh, teleoperation if you can't use the joystick. So let's get that fixed. I also want you to check out robostack.github.io. It's a fantastic project and really can use some contributors. Thanks a lot. Enjoy.